In this video a dangerous procedure will be shown, in which strong acid will be used, sources of high temperatures and sources of electricity. I recommend to use an appropriate personal protection device and stand for security. The video is for demonstration purpose only and should not be replicated in a domestic environment. I do not take responsibility for any damage to people, animals or things. Sulfuric acid at high temperature causes burn and is in a can also destroy latex and nitric gloves. So I recommended paying special attention. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid and is a powerful dehydrating agent. When it reaches high temperature, its aggression increases to so much. So when it touches organic compound, it dehydrates them, it destroys them completely. Sulfuric acid has a boiling point which is equal to 447 degrees centigrade. The glass will be exposed at great stress, then for which it's recommended to heat and cool all pretty slow. During the expense I had some problems, the rupture of a boiling flask and the fusion of plastic ring. I recommended to pay special attention. For this experience we need concentrated sulfuric acid, which is normally sold as a gushing in the common hardware store for a very low price. I paid 5.9 euro for a liter of concentrated acid to 98%. However, this acid, unlike the common sulfuric acid, has a black color that is added at the factory to distinguish it from other liquids. In fact, pure sulfuric acid appears as colorless liquid-like water and can be easier exchanged for it if it were not for its much greater density. Having said this, we can see that in my case the acid has a black color as mentioned before, in other cases it can have other colors. We now take 250 ml of acid and transfer it into a 1 liter distillation flask, in my case. Now we prepare the distillation system, which sees the sulfuric acid in the flask on the left, inside the heating mantle, a water cooling column which we will light up later, and on the right the collecting container. In this video I didn't use the thermometer because the glass 1 reached a maximum of 200 degrees centigrade temperature, and the metal 1 is easily attached by acid at high temperature. Then add the pools of silica gel to facilitate the distillation and start the apparatus. Now I place a sheet of foil to prevent the heat from dispersing. When the acid has reached the suitable temperature for the first time and the apparatus has reached the right regime, the plastic rings have melted, so I stop everything and I cleaned the disaster that has been created. I rearranged everything and I redid the distillation. In fact, you can see that the green rings have disappeared. Finally, when I reach the temperature again, you can see that white smoke passed through the column and condensed immediately afterwards. Black halos have accumulated and I honestly have no idea what they are. If any of you know this, let me know in the comments. We can see in the collecting of balls that the drops fall profusely. You can now see from this slow motion video that the acid we collected in the collecting flask has a truly transparent and blistering appearance.
now in taste you can see that the sulfuric acid vapors quickly condense in the first two centimeters of the column. After one and a half hour of work, this is the acid we've got. Now, before bottling, it is recommended to measure the density, which to be concentrated at 98% must be 1.8447. In fact, we can see that 10 ml weighed exactly 18.44 grams. From this, we can deduce that the approximate density is 1.833. The density is lower than expected, but I attributed this error to bubbles on the surface that may have lowered the density. Is to my accuracy error on the scale. Now we transfer everything into a bottle already labeled in HDPA. This is the final result. This video is all. Thanks for the vision. I ask you to leave a like if you liked the video. And share it. And subscribe to the channel.